And we are coming to you live from New York City where TropicalFed.com once again is counting down the top 100 Caribbean hits for the year ending 2011. And as part of the countdown tonight, um, we are having a party celebration and some live performances. And slated to perform this evening is um, international soca star Trinity will be doing his thing tonight and um, for those of you who have not seen him perform you're in for a treat tonight Trinity is one of the best um, artists around and we are lucky enough to have him perform for us at the 2011 tropicalfair.com musical countdown welcome to tropical fair Trinity um, what can the people expect tonight well, definitely Trinity again, tropicalfet.com again, call all your friends, tell all your friends, call all your friends. Well, definitely tonight is just about, you know what I mean, celebrating, you know what I mean, the top 100 songs of the year. And we're def definitely just coming out to just make people have a good time. Look out for the album coming out soon, January 13th. So I'm just going to do probably one or two covers off of the album and give you all a little bit more feel of who Trinity is. If you never heard about me before, you can check me out on Facebook.com slash Trinity Official, YouTube Trinity Official. You can check out some videos and stuff there. But um, this is all about pushing the soca music, pushing the culture, taking it to another level. You know what I mean? Definitely. Now, this, um, some of us, we are familiar with some of the work you've done in the past. What is different about the new album slated to come out in January of 2012? I mean, this album definitely um, kind of shows a little bit more what I can do. It's just not only touching on soca, but it has also some reggae feel, some R&B feel, a little bit of hip-hop feel. It's generally Caribbean music. You know what I mean? But it's definitely it's trying to spread the wings a little bit further, you know what I mean? To take the culture, take... It doesn't really... To me, music is music. I love singing all music because I'm from Trinidad. I love West Indian music. So, you know what I mean? That's where my heart is. But I'm just telling people that Trinity can do other things also. The name Trinity has been around for, for a little while now. And Trinity is still coming out as hard, still coming with a new CD in January of a new year, 2012. What sets Trinity apart from the other artists out there? I mean, the thing that sets me apart, I just feel like other people, to me, is like a lot of people just came on the scene who have been doing this like two, three years. Like, I've been doing this since I was a little kid, four or five years old. So a lot of times I just think that I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I've went to school for music, so I have like a lot of experience and I really spent and dedicated my life to this. It's just not something that I'm trying. It's like whether I have a show or don't have a show, I still practice and perform. You still go to the studio. This is a has 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 become my life so I think what's different for me is like I live music I live the culture it's like I'm not trying to be an artist I'm not trying to have a song I really only believe I'm established I'm established that it's just for people to recognize who Trinity is now now you mentioned that you actually um, studied music you're, you're studying um, the craft in the new um, coming album I'm set to be released in January how much of a creative hand did you have in putting out the the product I mean well everything I do this has my hand in it from the writing to recording to production. I may not produce the beats all the way, but definitely I write all the songs and from the time it comes to recording a song, mastering a song, all of that stuff, I'm 100% involved. Only thing I'm not really that more involved in is the production, like you know what I mean, I don't really play the instruments too well, most of the guys I just give them an idea and what is done, but I still tell them like, you know, I feel like this, so I have a ta -da 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 in my head, or you know what I mean, and they just follow it through. But generally, I just like to like, if a keyboard is really good at playing keyboard, I let him do his job. The drummer is really good at playing job, I let him um, play, I play the drums. I don't think it's my job for me to tell them how to play keyboard, because they've been doing that for all their life. You understand what I'm saying? So I just like to find people who's really well at what they do and just let them use their talent comfortably and express it. That's what I do, use my talent comfortably and express it. Now, you've been dropping music where other Caribbean artists, for example, would not. I think a lot of people drop music as Caribbean artists. For them, the peak time would be around Carnival. But Trinity is different. So you could have Trinity drop in January, February, March, every month um, of the year. How much of a rule, or how, how much of uh, how much importance do you give to, to to Carnival? Do you really go hard for Carnival or do you just put out the music and if it just so happens work its way into Carnival then you go along with it? But do you do anything special to say, well you know what, I'm preparing for Trinidad 2012? 
I mean, to tell you the truth, obviously it all starts and begins at the end of the day with Trinidad Carnival. So you have to always have something prepared already for that. But the reason why, like you said before, like I always drop stuff, even if it's not Carnival, I will still drop stuff in in June, in July, in August, September, December, because I want to change that trade, and the trade is changing that soca music is not just a carnival thing, it's a year-round thing that we're going to start. Like on the album, I'm talking about love and different things with behind with our same culture music. It's just not about jump up no more. We can still talk about other things, and the culture is changing that. Like you see, we have it, they call it the pop soca now, so every a lot of things is changing. So I think with me trying to drop the music different times of the year and stuff like that, we'll kind of break the trend out of people feeling like, okay, I can only look for a new soca song this time of the year, carnival time. It's like, you know I mean? You could come February, January, March, April, any time of the year, and you know what I mean? We're gonna, I'm not the only one that's doing it. Don't, I don't want to take no credit. Everyone is doing this now. This is, this is, this is the new norm. Soca songs are gonna be coming out every month, month after month from, from, from now on. It's just not gonna be a carnival thing anymore. Now, unlike many other artists, you're talented enough where you can do R&B, you can do reggae, you can do soca, you could do calypso. How difficult it is for you to, to keep it all balanced, where you may find your core audience who say, you know what, I support that man for soca, but what kind of reggae thing is that? So you have to keep the reggae fan happy, you have to keep the R&B fan happy, you have to keep the soca fan happy. Do you think it's a difficult task or you put added pressure on you as an artist to represent and represent all your fans well? For me personally, I think it's... I try not to think too much about the fan, and it may sound bad when I say that, but from the time you go down the road of thinking about what somebody else wants, trying to make someone else happy, you're not gonna win because everybody is entitled to their own opinion, so because Jim like this, Harry may not like that. So what I try to do, I try to find something that I like, something that I'm comfortable with, something that I'm happy with. And if it's really a true fan, they will love you no matter what you do. You understand? So that's what I believe. I just do my music. Like I said, I love music. If it feels good, sounds good, whether it's a reggae beat, soca beat, R&B beat, if I hear it and I like it, I'm going to sing on it. You know? Now, tell the people once again when the album is due to drop. And once the album is here, where can we purchase a copy of the album? Well, definitely you can check it out on all the uh, major roti, clothing, barber shops. You know what I mean? Definitely want to keep it in the family. People who have been supporting me for a long time. You know what I mean? Um, big up to Charlie's Records. You know what I mean? Definitely going to have it in a couple of stores too. But we're going to keep it basically the same time. The culture has been the same way. We sell tickets for parties, promote parties for tickets. That's the same avenue I'm going to go down. It's a different road, but I think it's the smartest road to go down because it's easy access. People's gonna go buy a roti or a jerk chicken. They're gonna go get their hair cut or their hair done. You understand what I'm saying? People's not running to the record store that easily. So they will quicker hear my CD or see it or quicker purchase it inside a barber shop or a roti shop. You know what I mean? The market is changing. You gotta change with the market. Record stores aren't selling anymore like that. You know what I mean? A lot of things we, we do a lot of a lot of promotion too. So if you catch me on the street, who knows? I may have a CD for you there. Sometimes I sell them for five dollars. Sometimes I give it away. But it's all about keeping fresh music out there. And of course, you got to generate some kind of income from it at the end of the day, because it costs money to record. The clothing costs money. So at the end of the day, it's like I said, um, the, gen the album is definitely going to be available January 13th. You can look for it in your favorite record store to your roti store, you name it, it'll be out there. But definitely I'll keep you posted, you know what I mean, tropicalfed.com, they will know where it's going to be and they'll have the info on it. Well, thanks again for stopping by tonight. We're looking forward to the performance. And you have to promise when the album drops, the 13th of January, you'll come back and, and we can discuss the feedback and how things are going and what we can look forward to going down the line in 2012 from Trinity. Sounds great, man. We're always there to support Tropical that friend. Trinity again, Tropical Fet again. Call all your friends, tell all your friends, call all your friends. Kiran Itterville for TropicalFet.com. We're in the city and we're counting down the top 100 Caribbean tunes for the year 2011. Cool.